लेक्चर वी विल लर्न हाउ टू फाइंड द लेंथ ऑफ टेंजेंट टू अ सर्कल बट बिफोर गोइंग टू दिस टॉपिक वी मस्ट नो अबाउट दैट वट इज द टेंजेंट एज वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट टेंजेंट एंड अ नॉर्मल एंड टू फाइंड द इक्वेशन ऑफ टेंजेंट एंड नॉर्मल इन अ प्रीवियस लेक्चर सो जस्ट रिवाइज द कॉन्सेप्ट अबाउट द टेंजेंट टेंजेंट इज बेसिकली अ लाइन दैट टच इज अ सर्कल एट ओनली वन पॉइंट फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ वी हैव अ सर्कल एंड हेयर इज द सेंटर ऑफ दिस सर्कल इफ अ लाइन दैट टच इज अ सर्कल एट ओनली वन पॉइंट विच इज अ पॉइंट पी फॉर एग्जाम्पल देन दिस लाइन इज कॉल्ड अ टेंजेंट सो वी हैव टू फाइंड द लेंथ ऑफ अ टेंजेंट ऑफ अ सर्कल एट एनी एक्सटर्नल पॉइंट सो इफ वी हैव अ सर्कल which is this circle and here is a center of a circle and let we say that if we have a point p which is the external point means not on the circle and having coordinates x1 and y1 so if we write it as and we have to take the tangents on this circle first tangent that touches a point is here and this is the first possibility of tangent and the other one is that if a line that touches a circle at only one point and meet this point as there is two possibility of a tangent that a point p that is outside the circle so as we know that that the two distinct tangents can be drawn to a circle from an external point only these two so now we suppose that these two tangents touches to a circle at a point a and a point b so basically the distance of ap is called a tangential distance and the length ap and bp are called the length of tangents or tangential length so we have to require to find these lengths take our general equation of a circle and what is the general equation of a circle which is x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c which is equals to 0 so basically this is a general equation of this circle and we already discussed about the radius and center of this general equation of a circle that we write it as with this equation with center with center which is equals to minus g minus f that we already find these centers and radius in previous videos so the radius the radius which is we suppose that r which is g square plus f square minus c with this radical sign so if we have to find this tangential distance the distance between the center and any point on a circle is called a radius so if i draw these two points this point is on a circle and here is the center so we say that this line is radius that we already find it so we have to find this length if i draw the center which is we called a c and join the point p by a line then we have to take this form the line which is perpendicular to the tangent is normal as this line which is a tangent line and this is a normal line is perpendicular to each other means the angle between them is 90 degree have a right angle triangle if we suppose on this side as just for the clarification this is a right angle that we found here and here is a point a this is a point c and here is a point p this is a base this is a perpendicular and this is a hypotenuse so we use a pythagoras theorem which says that the length of the side which is base square plus the length of the perpendicular square which is equals to the length of the hypotenuse square right as cp distance square perpendicular uh, hypotenuse square which is equals to ca square plus ap distance of square so we have to take it ap Here, which is equals to CP square, and if we take this term on the other side, it will be CA square. So if I suppose that this is my first equation, and now we have to find the values of this, and then put in the first equation. So the first term is to calculate the C 
CP distance means uh, to find the distance between these two points so by distance formula what it says that CP means x1 minus and in a point C is minus G with whole term is in scale the sign is plus then in y coordinates will be y1 minus and then here is minus f and taking a square with a radical sign. Now to solve it which is equals to x1 plus g square plus y1 plus f square with radical Sign. So uh, finally we have to find the distance between these two points. But we have to find the square of this. So we taking a square on both sides. Then x1 plus g square plus y1 plus f square. The second thing we just to find it is ca. And the ca is the radius. That if this is a circle then its radius will be this. So we say that it is a radius and what is the radius it will be g square plus f square minus c with radical sign but you see we have to find the square of this term as well so if i take a square on both sides then this radical sign can also remove it so we are left with this term minus c so in the next step we have to put the values of CP square and CA square in first equation. So we find the length of this tangent. So AP square which is equals to UX1 plus G square plus Y1 plus F square. Then the sign is minus. Then the sign is minus and the value of CA square which is this g square plus f square minus c so if this is a square and if we remove this and just to find the distance of ap then if we take our square root on both sides then we are left with x1 plus g square plus y1 plus f square and if we open the minus sign in whole the bracket then it will be minus f square plus c and just take a square root on both sides. So which is equal to if we open this square by using a formula which is a plus b square which is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab. So we use x1 square plus g square plus 2gx1. Now opening this square it will be y1 square plus f square plus 2fy1 and this remaining term we will write it as minus g square minus f square plus c with whole term is in a radical sign. So if you notice that these two terms can be cancelled out with each other in a similar way these two are also cancelled out. So we are left with x1 square plus y1 square plus 2gx1 plus 2fy1 plus c with a radical sign and basically this is our distance of ap is a final distance that we require a distance of ap and this is called a tangential distance or a length of the tangent to a circle so we can write it as so if you see that, that we already say that these two are the possibilities of the tangent to this external point. So we find it that and in a similar way if we draw a, a perpendicular line to this point then it will be this. Now we have to a triangle which is PCB and for using this same terminology and these steps you have to find the length of this tangent as well just to follow the steps that we perform to find the tangential distance of AP because we know that the length of the tangents drawn from an external point to the circle is equal 
So here is an example that we have to find the length of a tangent from a point which is a given point to a circle and the equation of a circle is also given. If we have a circle which is this and the equation of this circle right now is this given equation and the point which is the external point is posed that is placed is something here which is minus 5 and 10. So if our tangent is draw on a circle at touches a circle at only one point is this a point a which is a exposed point so we basically find the length of these two the distance between a p so as basically this is the implementation example of this formula that this is the general length of the tangent in a general equation of a circle the coefficients of x square and y square must be one so the first step is just to divide the whole equation with 5. So we are left with x square plus y square plus 14 divided by 5x plus 12 divided by 5y minus 10 divided by 5 which is equals to 0. So now we simplify it if it is possible for simplification as x plus 12 divided by 5y and it will be minus 2 which is equals to 0. So as you see the formula we have to require to find the value of x1 and y1 as these points is x1 and y1. And the second thing what we require that the value of g, the value of f and the value of c. So we find these values by using the comparison of this equation by general equation of a circle. So general equation which is equal to x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c which is equal to z. If we write it is in this form, the formula is 2 and the value of g will be, it will be 14, 10. Then if we cancel out this, then it will be 14 over 5, then we will back to this value plus 2 and we take the value of f which is 12 divided by 10 and minus 2 which is equals to 0 so if now we have to compare these two equations so what we find it g which is equals to 14 divided by 10 the value of f which is 12 divided by 10 and the value of c which is minus 2. So now it's time to just put the values in the general length of the tangent that we already find. We say that the length ap, ap length or we generally write which is equals to length in other words. x1 is minus 5 square plus y1 square which is 10 so 10 square plus 2 the value of g is 14 divided by 10 x x1 the value of x1 is minus 5 now plus 2 the value of f which is equals to 12 divided by 10 and the value of y1 which is again 10 and plus c the value of c is minus 2 and the whole term is in a radical sign 25 plus it will be a 100 and it will be minus 14 and it will be because this 10 is cancel out with this so it will be 4 to 24 and minus 2 and to solve all of this we have this is a final answer and this is so it's all about today's lecture at how to find the length of tangent to a circle so if you like this then don't forget to subscribe like comment and share